Yeah, Florida, um, the waves were salty. Uh, the sun was hot. No, we, um, Florida Tech, a uh, very talented team, have uh, one of the best players in the country, the Daniel Kidd, preseason All-American, the averaging 30 points a game. Um, it was a low. They got another really good all-conference guard. Thought we did a good job just kind of getting rhythm throughout the game, got some stops defensively, found some easy ways to score against their zone, and, and um, built a lead. Let, they got back into it a little bit. We got a little bit soft in the stretch and, and, and then battled back and kept it at a couple possessions plus through the whole game and, and uh, got a nice road win against uh, a team that uh, was you know, expected to, to do a lot here this year. Um, and so then this weekend, uh, we got back uh, late Saturday night, um, got ready for for Hannibal LaGrange, played them Monday. Um, again, kind of, I thought defensively, we, you know, we did a good job forcing turnovers. We, our pressure hurt them a lot. We got to be, we got to be better fundamentally. You know, we can't just rely on, you know, very good teams are going to take care of the ball. We're going to run into some great guards who, who refuse to turn it over. So you're going to have to be able to get stops. Um, but a lot of good offense. We got a lot of, we have a lot of balance. Uh, we got depth. We got some key guys injured and other guys just stepped up, filled some great roles. And I thought we got a lot, we, we moved the ball. We share the ball, which is a huge part of our, our offensive success, is we have ability to get the ball to the rim in various ways, and uh, we share the ball. And I thought that was real evident, uh, especially the, the, the second half of Monday night. TJ can really, really score it. I mean, TJ, and he's been playing a little bit like just a shooter. We talked to him a little bit this weekend about that, and he's um, – uh, he, he can score a lot of different ways. He can score in the post. He can drive it. He's very athletic. He, he's, uh, he's a good finisher. Um, and obviously, he can rise up and shoot over a good defense. I mean, he's, he's just a guy who's got a chance to, to score a bunch of points in a flurry. And uh, I think you'll continue to see you know, great things from him as he develops and um, you know, figures stuff out. And I think he, he's picked things up at a, at a great pace so far. And, and Max... You know, last year uh, came right into the season for football with really no preparation. This year he spent the summer getting a lot of shots up, and it's evident. I mean, he, he shot it well in practice in the week that we've had him. Um, and he, he's just a guy who does the little things so well. I mean, he's just a guy. He, Max is a guy who makes winning plays on both sides of the ball. He's a team-first guy, um, you know, and his offense has, has taken a jump. Well, yeah, we, we, we started out with, with four games on the road, four D2 games on the road, and we had five games in um, – in, nine days uh, period so it, it's a pretty pretty hefty stretch there um, and then you got travel on either sides of uh, either side of those games so a much needed rest we got some guys who are injured hopefully not long term some guys who are carrying some minor stuff as most teams do at this stage and some guys who are out um, period so one we're giving a couple days off give them, give them Wednesday and Thursday on either side of Thanksgiving practiced hard today uh, the day after the game, and then um, we'll be back at it Friday, Saturday, preparing for our Tuesday game against Beloit.